Welcome to the Ratty.com Big Three. I'm Bass Masters, and oh my God, Danica Patrick, hello. Oh my. Hi, boys. Danica, bring in some sex appeal to NASCAR. She's back. All right, we're talking about racing, of course. Uh, and Buzz Cutler has today's three big burning questions. Uh, yeah, and uh, Buck's Bazoom is not two of them. Uh, issue number one, Danica Patrick is making her return to the NASCAR Nationwide you know, Series. I <laughs> this I weekend. Fusion Pro Glide. This weekend at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. Uh, do we care? I yes, care. Yes. We care. Look, let's be honest, okay? It may not be rational that we care, maybe we shouldn't care, and we're just, but we do, we're very interested. She has succeeded in hyping herself in such a way, and she's performed well enough in the IndyCar series for us to say, I wonder what she could do in NASCAR. Yes, we're all interested. Yes, we wanna see how she does. Personally, I would love to see her succeed. I know there are others who feel the opposite way, but I think it's great. I still think it's great. I think it's fun. I think it's awesome. I think it's rowdy. I want her to succeed in the sport. I want her to do well, and I'm glad she's here. If you ask me whether I thought she was going to do well, I'd put the chances down around 15%. I will say this, though. The way she approached her earlier stint in these cars at the beginning of the season impressed me, and I think there is the potential, depending on where her focus goes over the next few years, that she could succeed. Well, I think she has the right attitude, but I didn't see any great flashes of talent yet, but she hasn't really had an idea. And what did you see great flashes of, Vess? I well, I don't have to look very far. <laughs> All right. Some talent. Speaking of great flashes of talent, Casey Kane is exhibiting some of late. He he's he's skipped the last two races. And he skipped three spots in the standings. He's only a hundred and I think fifty one points out of the chase. He seems to have the momentum that Juan Pablo Montoya is lacking in terms of moving towards the chase. Well, it's interesting, Buck, if you look at the last two races, Casey's run second and then fourth. Juan has run thirteenth and tenth. And as I said on yesterday's Rowdy podcast, I don't think 10th on a road course is good enough for Montoya, but they're pretty much neck and neck in the points. They are neck and neck in the points. It's very interesting to see if this new engine is, is helping out Casey Kane. He says he can feel it. He says it is. Is it the placebo effect or is it really the engine? That's a good question. I don't think the Fords, their problem to me is not a horsepower problem, but more horsepower can only help. Plus, if you can run more tape on the nose and the weight's a little bit lower, that should help your handling as Keep well. Keep your nose up. But uh, honestly, if you look at their season so far, Casey Kane has had four finishes in the 30s. Juan Pablo has had six finishes in the 30s. He's just dropping like a Four rock. major I mean, problems in um, in the 16 races yeah, we've run just... so far. Actually had a pretty good streak going until he hit Charlotte and Dover where he finished in the 30s again. You've got to put together a streak here if you're Juan or Casey. They're both capable of doing it, and I, I do think one of them's gonna do it. Uh, it could be Casey Kane, it could be Juan Pablo Montoya. I think one of them's gonna make the chase, I still do. All right, issue number three. You know, Buck Fever and I have long been advocates for a road course in the chase. Bass Masters is a road course hater, but I'm wondering, Buck, if now that Jimmy Johnson has broken through on the road course, have you changed your mind on this particular matter? No, I, I, not at all. I, I, the reason I want a road course in the chase is because I like road course racing, not because I want to see Jimmy not win another championship. Would I prefer maybe if he didn't go ahead and win the fifth championship in a row? Part of me says yes, but again, the other part of me says, my God, we're watching history here. I'm not a Jimmy hater. I respect the crap out of the guy, and I think the road courses are great, and I want to see more of them in the chase and more of them in our sport. First of all, you know what I think. It's an oval series. I'm not big on the road courses, but I think it's okay that we race on them. Here's the way I see a road course in the chase, though, and I will give you gentlemen this, uh, this one. I mean, what we really would love to do in the chase, in my opinion, is, has, is have a different chase every yes. single year. Yes. Just the way in the Tour de France, you have a different, you know, you go back to some of the similar um, stages but it's not always the same thing it's always got a unique character all its own might be an advantage to one guy or another guy depending on the stages that you're in i know it's more complicated scheduling i know it makes it much harder for the tracks 
but think about how great it would be, the unveiling of this year's chase, the unveiling of this year's schedule. Oh, this year there's a road course race in the chase. Oh, this year there are two plate races in the chase. Oh, this year we've got an extra couple short track races in the chase. Think how cool that would I, be. That to me is the number one change I would make. I absolutely. If I could make it logistically, I would absolutely do that. And that way, I would absolutely put a road course race in the chase if you did it that way. I couldn't agree more. I think it's absolutely the one thing I would love to do. But my question is, does it screw up the race fan? Is the race fan so attuned to go into that certain race that he goes to at the yes. same time every year? Yes. Does that screw up the race fan, then screw up the tracks, then it becomes something Everyone you just can't has do. to adjust. A rain delay screws up the race I, fan. I, I, I admit it's logistically challenging. I, think I just we try think it. from the perspective of the sport, it is so worth it. All right, that has been your Rowdy.com Big Three. Speaking of great and sexy, hi, boys. Best masters sitting alongside Danica Patrick. We do have a daily Rowdy podcast and a website known cleverly enough as Rowdy.com. Do join us over there. We'd love to have you. And See, come on over. <laughs> hey. Alone. Or this for you, Danica. Do you remember that commercial? Will you, you stop cupping your breasts, please? Like, <laughs> Jeez, I gotta cut around all your breast cupping. Rowdy.com. Say it like it is. Say what like it is. Rowdy.com. Rowdy